since time immemorial, Nagas have been known to love music, and it has remained an integral part of every occasion. It is believed that Naga ancestors often communicated with one another by singing in different tunes and expressions. Though Naga history lacks written records, oral history passed down from generation to generation has proved that songs were used as a medium of communication. Nagas were known to be an unmist before the advent of Christianity. Naga ancestors were aware of an almighty deity and revered the forces of nature by worshipping them with songs and dances. Naga folk songs are both romantic and historical, with songs narrating entire stories of famous ancestors and incidents. There are also seasonal songs which describe various activities done in a particular agricultural season. One the themes of the folk music and songs are many. Songs eulogizing ancestors, the brave deeds of warriors and traditional heroes, and poetic love songs immortalizing ancient tragic love stories. To the tribes living in the remote corners of Nagaland have their inherent tradition of music. Since there are various tribal communities in Nagaland, the music of the state also expresses the melodious diversity. In older times folk music was part of communal recreation. This means that small communities such as villages or families would relax by playing and singing music together. People would often make up a new song or new piece of music or make changes to music that they already knew. In this way music was always changing. People would get musical ideas from other groups nearby. This is why folk music from neighboring geography often sounds similar. Ballads were popular, these were folk songs which a story were narrative. Sometimes they had a refrain after each verse so that everybody could join in. Ballads told stories of love, myths, or folklore. This is how stories were handed down from one generation to another. Manual labor often included singing by the workers, which served several practical purposes. It reduced the boredom of repetitive tasks, it kept the rhythm during synchronized pushes and pulls, and it set the pace of many activities such as planting, weeding, reaping, threshing, weaving, and milling. In leisure time, singing and playing musical instruments were common forms of entertainment and history telling, even more common than today. The themes on which the music of Nagaland is formed center around either the religious beliefs, romance or bravery. One dot the Helium Lu which is also called by the name of Dancing Song of Nagaland is one of the popular music forms of the state which is based upon romanticism. Generally both the youth and the aged people create lines for this music. 2. The Hair Lu Song is known as the War Song of Nagaland. This is because the aged people of Nagaland narrate their achievements in past battles through this form of music. 3. Then there is the Nulu Song of Nagaland which expresses the legendary acts of any particular figure or a significant ancient happening in the state. 4. Biki Lu is another enticing part of the music of Nagaland which is of two types. Adopt the first type of Hiki Lu song is composed and sung by the old people of Nagaland to glorify the deeds of their youthful days. B. The second type of Hiki Lu song is created by both the young and old generation. While setting chords to their famous hymn-like 1960 track, Let It Be Me, the rock and roll legend the Everly Brothers, not even in their wildest dreams, thought that a tribal folk song in India's Nagaland would have the same chord structure. As for the contours and trajectory, they never factored those in either. 
often folk songs and dances are accompanied by indigenous musical instruments in the form of drums, bamboo flute and single stringed instruments. The most important instrument in Naga folk is the vocals of Naga music. The man in Naga land perform war dance with an outburst cry and humming tune. It can be said, this dance formed mocks war scenario by involving dangerous war movements. A single wrong step could ruin an entire act. Its martial and athletic style requires a performer to whirl his legs while keeping the body in an upward posture. Besides the traditional attire worn by the performers are simply unique. Music and dance play a huge part in Naga culture, and any event won't conclude without a folk dance. The people of Nagaland believe in togetherness hence you will notice all their dances are presented in groups. Speaking of which, Nagaland has multiple tribes each having their own uniqueness, dance forms, cultures, language and more. For instance, the major folk dances of Nagaland include Mats, Agurshikukkila, Butterfly Dance, Alayadu, Sato Kekai, Shanghai Dance, Kuki Dance, Leshalaptu, Kambalim, Mayor Dance, Manyosho, Rangma, Sicha, and Kukui Kacho, Shanghai, and Moyashai etc. However, the prominent ones are War Dance and Zoyang Dance.